Alright, generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode of FOV. Now, I have been planning things out, working on this for quite some time, and I think I've got some idea of how I want to make this wall. And I built some prototypes in creative mode, and so forth and so on. So, I got a bunch of resources. Started a sand mine over in that direction someplace. Uh, which I will probably show later on. Something like that. Also, there's a jungle right over there. I don't know if I can go forward a little bit and see it. Uh, it is right there. The chunks would load. Anyway. Anyway, um, there is a jungle right there, so I'll probably head over there to grab some leaves, saplings, so forth and so on. Four builds later on. It's good to know about. Probably cocoa beans for some cookies, because I like cookies. Uh, but yeah, so some trees have grown. I've worked around here for quite some time. Uh, and I've got these blocks li laid out, uh, roughly lining up where the wall is going to go and how it's going to work. So I think I'm going to start building. And so I'll grab some of this stuff. Uh, probably want some of that, some of these, grab some of those, uh, I'll grab the dirt for the heck of it, uh, I'm gonna need to make a bunch of, nope, uh, I need to make, what do I need to make, I need to make a bunch of stairs, and then a bunch, no, stop, no, no. what are you doing? Okay, here we go. Slabs. Should be plenty. Um, and then we'll need to get this going. Uh, is that... Where's my chiseled? Where's my, did I grab two stacks of... Oh, there's chiseled. Okay. Uh, Alright. And so here we go. I've sort of got pictures off to the side, so I'll be able to reproduce what I made in creative. Oh, I also need, you know, I'm just gonna make a crafting table out here so I don't have to go all the way inside whenever I need to do that. So, crafting table right there. I was figuring out how I was gonna do this and, um, what am I doing? I'm making some of these. Uh, there's a large area over there that's sort of raised up pretty high, and I wasn't sure I was going to make the walls go up and over. I sort of solved that by having the walls go around the outside of the hill, and I'll just sort of carve away outside. I don't know. I'll... I'll you'll see. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, what was I doing here? I was doing this sort of deal. I'll get better at this as I reproduce the pattern more times. So this is, they're sort of column patterns that go along, that's why I've got these blocks at specific intervals. Uh, you've got these sorts of patterns going on. I, I made it more intricate and so forth than I probably needed to, which is what I do. This is wrong though, isn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, I, I put this in the wrong place, okay. It's all good, it's all good. So let's see, if I can get just one of these units built, then I'll be able to uh, give you folks an idea of where I'm going with this, how I want it to look in general. Let's see, so then this top there and how did I do this yeah okay okay I got it I got it I'm good nope that's wrong false stupid I was trying to mix some interesting colors and so forth with this and specifically keep it in the sort of light and um Oh uh, yeah, light sort of sandstone and birch look 
for the most part. Although I incorporated some slabs, of course, because slabs. On top of here, I had some of those. Uh, and I had that, of course. So that's the lower part. Then let me get some scaffolding blocks so that I can put on the top bit. Uh, actually, did this across the top. I'm gonna need more of those. Uh, so I'll just mill down a whole bunch of this in the planks. Make a whole bunch of these because I'm gonna need a lot of them. Gonna need more than that, but whatever. Do that, and then I had some of these dealios. Actually, let me just make them all. Gonna need a lot more than that, as with everything. So, let me see if I can place this. Nope. Damn it. Alright. Whatever. Okay. It's beginning to come together, though. Just starting. Uh, I've got the general gist starting to come together. There's sort of going to be... I've got this one main thing here. Yeah, it looks reasonably good. That's sort of the base bottom bit. I'm just going to repeat that all down the line. And it's actually, it's not going to dip down with this. Um, it's actually going to stay at this level and I'm going to build out more underneath it as sort of supports and uh, so forth and so on. So I'll have to get creative there. But I'm also thinking that I'm going to fill in this water to some degree. It's The village has gotten flooded a bit and uh, there might be, it might be good to keep a lake here or something, some sort of water feature. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to fill most of it in and maybe leave the water outside the wall, but have the water inside curbed to some degree so that there's more walking area and more area for further decoration and so forth and so on. Uh, so inside it's going to look a little bit like that, but I'm going to do a bit more with this to give it a more interesting feel and also going to want to... let me just power down a bunch of those and... <clears throat> damn it. <laughs> ah, so let's see, I want to throw some of these at... what level is it on? It's there. So I'm going to make sort of a walkway on the inside here. Something like that. I'm going to need to sleep soon. It is night time. Fast approaching. And as I recall, I also did that to give it sort of a look of support. Supportedness. Um, so that should be good. That should look nice. I definitely want to sleep before any bad guys spawn. I left the door open. Whatever, doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. Doesn't matter. Nothing spawned and came and ate my face. So, so that's the bottom section, and then I'm actually gonna. I've got a bunch planned out that I'm. I'm actually gonna build up from here, make another level to it. Um, there'll sort of be a wall walk on top as well, and in some corners or stuff I might make like staircases up and around and stuff that might be cool but I will figure that out after I've got more of these things built I'm probably just gonna focus on building this like all the way around for too long this episode might take a bit in production I'm not sure how much I'm gonna try and get done in this one episode but um, another thing I'm actually thinking of starting doing basic cuts um, working on the sort of etho model of uh, making you know basic rudimentary cuts and so forth which would be easy to edit and just splice together so should be good should allow me to get more done per episode so forth and so on I'm still gonna I'm still not going to make uh, an external like I, I, I externally created intro I'm gonna try and 
I don't know, you'll see what I'm thinking for my intro, but um, I'm going to get creative with it, and I'm actually going to make it, I'm sort of going to build it into the world and make it something that I actually just reproduce as part of the episode each time. Should be a lot of fun, and should be quite interesting, and it'll allow me to, you know, let my, the view from my intro develop as my world develops, sort of deal. But... For now, I think I'm just going to get back to um, continuing the pattern along, and I'll maybe try and get just a bit of a little ways, and maybe round the corner, so forth, and then I'll come back. I might need to jerry rig something temporarily. Just because this isn't gonna take, this, this isn't gonna keep spiders out as it is, um, so I might add in a little lip here that I'll take out later on once I've got the higher, you know, lip that I'm gonna build out for the walkway. But anyway, anyway, um, that's the general plan, and like over on this side of things, right, you can see that the. Um, the wall comes right around uh, the dirt blocks over there lining it up out there and then I switch to wood blocks so that grass wouldn't grow on them so forth and so on so it wouldn't be so it's still clear where the border is uh, it just sort of comes around here uh, I tried to leave a decent chunk of room around the city on all sides so it'll still be uh, navigable and expandable to some degree horse in a hole along with a chicken okay subterranean horse uh, and in this area I'm thinking I'm actually gonna oh no I'm holding seeds I don't need to be carrying chickens around behind me in this area I'm thinking I'm actually gonna expand the village um, you know sort of this way uh, and I'm gonna put some houses around here and probably some houses on the hill up there uh, and and this is where things are going to get a bit interesting because I'm actually going to need to cut away this bit of this mountain and uh, this hill here and I'm going to need to basically I'm thinking of having the wall be sort of almost a I don't know buttress or a retaining wall sort of deal um, and have uh, the best place to demonstrate is over here what I'm generally thinking um, so this is where it sort of worked out the best, but have like high terrain on this side, then have the wall come up and have whatever the wall does right here, and then have low terrain on the other side. I'm actually thinking I might get creative over here as well and like hollow this out and make uh, some subterranean passages and possibly even viable villager housing down there as well, but that's generally what's going on and I'll be cleaning all of this up and formalizing the pathways and all that good stuff so that should be good and interesting and so forth and so on and I guess I will cut right back once I have got a little bit more of the wall done okay here I am and I've got this wall that I've built, at least part of it. It's a little bit crazy, and it's going to get crazier. But right here, I've got some stuff I was fooling around with. This is inside, of course. Looks reasonably good. And I've got these little windows, sort of a cross-section view of what I've going on. I've got going on here, blah, 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 blah. And on the outside, it looks pretty nice as well. I'm quite proud of the lower section that I figured out. Took me longer than I'd like to admit to come up with a design that I was happy with, but I think this looks good. And it'll be a nice wall once I get it all the way around and get it finished, built, so forth and so on. At any rate, um, it was also interesting because uh, while I started building and so forth, um, some of the villagers came over to look at what I was doing, and I got talking with them, um, 
they wanted to know what I was doing here and <laughs> what I'd done with the temple and so forth. Um, but um, I sort of explained and apologized and so forth, and they weren't too mad or anything. Um, especially when I explained what I was, you know, doing for the village and so forth, and how I really kind of just wanted to protect them and so forth and help them out a bit. Um, and they told me some stuff um, uh, when we got talking and so forth. Told me some of the um, legends and so forth of this place. And it's really pretty cool, um, I guess. Uh, they have legends about how once there was a great civilization, like, all over the place through here. Um, this is one of the last remaining vestiges of the um, once mighty empire that, I guess, expanded through this entire world. Um... And their leader was um, a guy known as a cartographer, and sort of like some kind of big leader, king, almost, but like a spiritual leader as well to some degree, and he just knew everything, let everybody, was able to lead them in building amazing things, and he constructed massive, amazing craziness and stuff. Um, I mean, there was there was a, there were a succession of them. They sort of spanned back through the ages, and he had um, a number of them. I don't remember most of their names, but I remember that the most recent one uh, was known as Gerardus. And um, the thing is, when um, he passed away, they had no one to turn to, and they the empire very quickly fell to ruins because they, these, you know, common people just sort of, they just didn't know how to build things, they didn't know how to do much of anything other than eke out a basic lifestyle. Um, only over vast amounts of time have they managed to um, survive and erect these small homes in the desert. Uh, they don't know if any other people even survived the cataclysm that befell the civilization when Gerardus died, because I guess all the monsters just invaded and just ruined everything, just <laughs> destroyed all the monuments, destroyed all the towns, killed everybody, and these guys only barely escaped and have been preserving this temple because they built their town around it because... Uh, I guess this was the um, this was known as the Crown of Gerardus. Uh, the last cartographer built this temple as you know one of the final things that he did in his life, and it's a really powerful sort of deal to them. And you know I kind of feel bad for vandalizing it now, so I think I'm gonna probably fix it up and try and make up for some of the damage I've done. But I'm definitely going to help them out, surround the village, so forth and so on, uh, and I'll, you know, try and help these guys out, because they've had, they've had a hard time, had a really hard time, and they've spent too long just barely surviving the zombie hordes, um, and all of the horrible monsters that come out at night, and they shouldn't need to suffer like that anymore, so I'm going to gonna help them out a bit and that should be it'll be a nice challenge it'll be a nice challenge and it'll be I think its own reward be nice to see these guys happy and not afraid for their lives so that'll be my goal um, or one of my goals that securing this village and sort of revamping it I want to build a bunch more buildings and stuff so that it's they don't have to all crowd into these few buildings, and I think, like I say, I'm going to fill this in a bit, make maybe a building or two over here, maybe a lot of decorations, some trees, bushes, who knows, fountains, whatever. I'll, I'll go nuts. I'll just build all kinds of things and make the place really pretty and build it up to be a nice area. Um, 
but I also want to um, continue with my plans for uh, building over here and they called this place the cartographer's cradle uh, I guess it wasn't like this until almost the day of the death of the last cartographer um, apparently it just sort of collapsed in on itself and formed like this almost spontaneously and nobody really saw it coming and nobody knew what to s what to make of it or anything but it um it i guess it said that the um one way that they will tell the new cartographer when he shows up is that um this will you know be what did they say they said something along the lines of it'll like open up new secrets and wonders and um, possibilities to the person who is the new cartographer and I certainly don't claim to be any kind of cartographer but it does look like a stunning location and if I can make it more hospitable for I don't know maybe maybe the next cartographer will show up and I will be able to welcome him to the location and have some sort of foundation to give him to work off of. But one way or another, I plan on beginning work here, perhaps, um, although I might just wait for next episode to do that. Uh, probably going to want to get more trees planted around here, maybe do some uh, just ambient stuff. Uh, and just make the place look a bit nicer because this desert is a terribly inhospitable place right now and it would be it would just be great to bring life back to it I do like the way that wall looks that's coming out well that should be stunning once I've got it completed but yeah no, that's that's roughly what I'm working on right now and hopefully that should be quite good in the future and hopefully it'll shape up nicely and so forth and so on. Oh, I also wanted to um, be sure to tame some horses uh, between episodes. Uh, I have been looking up a little bit of how to do that, how some of that works. Um, and I guess, um, let me see if I can tame this guy. I guess you just sort of try and get on him. Nope kicks me off. No, 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 don't kick me in the face, please. No, he doesn't like me. He doesn't like me in the least. Please? Sir? Can I, can I, pl can I please? No, he doesn't like me. He really doesn't like me. So I might, um, amass... Oh, there it goes. Now the jungle's loading. <laughs> yeah, there's a jungle right there. You can see it. Um, anyway, I might try and amass some food items to tame some horses and um, to assist with taming horses. Uh, I guess that does help to some degree. Um, I wonder if I'm doing something wrong because this sure doesn't seem to be working. He doesn't want to let me onto his back. But, um... Hmm. Do I need to put the saddle on him first? Let me go grab the saddle quickly. May as well try it out. See what's going on here. Uh, saddle right there throw that back whatever and give this a try inventory is packed full of garbage from building so forth and so on so do you want a saddle sir want a saddle no he doesn't want a saddle I forget what you can feed them uh, how do you make bales of wheat is that just stop that no what are you doing uh, is it just like that? No, it's not. It's nine, isn't it? Let me go to crafting table and craft myself a bale of wheat to try and feed this fellow unruly wild horse that I have found. Uh, do 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 do. There we go. Four bales of hay. Let me drop some stuff up in the chest so that I don't have 
inventory problems. Give me these carrots back. Alright, now I assume you just right click on them to feed them. I don't imagine that it would be anything more complicated or ridiculous than that. So, just give this a shot. No, I guess, I guess... It, you don't place it down, do you? Do you want, do you want the bale of hay? Do you want that? Do you like hay? What are you doing? Did... Nope. He... He doesn't... He really doesn't at all. Okay. Um... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I... I'll be honest. Uh... Oh, you know what? I think... I think... Hay didn't improve the... Chance to... Tame. I'm trying to remember what the other, um... Foods were on the wiki. I don't remember. Well, I'll get it figured out, and I'll try and tame a few horses, see what the stats are like, and hopefully find myself an ideal horse by next episode. That will be my goal. Um, and then I will have a horse to ride around. So that'll be fun, right? Let me try taming this guy. Looks the same. Nope, he's doing the same thing. Is that is that just what I can expect from horses now? Am I am I just do they not like androids? Is that the problem? Do they just really not like? It, it's my face, isn't it? It's they don't trust me. <laughs> okay, I I don't know what I'm doing at all. Yeah, okay. They certainly don't like me much, though. Yep. Nope. All right, all right. I think we've seen more or less everything that there is to see here. Okay, well, um, so that's horses, I guess. I'll figure out what's going on and try and tame some. But uh, yeah, beyond that, it's more or less just basic upkeep. I might do a little more around here, depending on what I feel like doing, and formalize the paths a little, fool around with that kind of thing. I don't know, I don't know, I'll just sort of leave it up in the air and see what I get done between episodes, but for now, I guess, with that I'll conclude this episode and respectfully bid you farewell for now.